dry my armpits because they're all sweaty. Oh my god, it has been literally forever. I'm so sorry that I, I've been taking forever to post. I just literally, I've been feeling really under the weather, but I'm feeling a little bit better now, so I'll probably post more. I don't know yet, but we'll see how this week goes. So as you guys read on today's um, video, title video, video title? I don't know, I literally suck at saying stuff. So today's video is gonna be 15 and six and 17 pregnant video updates so where i'm at now at life and blah, blah blah and all those good details about my life that a lot of you guys are wondering not just that i will be answering a lot of you guys' questions slash reading hate comments so we'll get into all that juicy stuff so i'm gonna do the comments first on the questions and then we'll jump into the the update you know where my life is and whatever so let's go with um um, someone's like, you're strong, girl. I'll never forget that. Thank you. Okay, let me see if I can find the comments. Okay. Uh, okay, so Shaggy said, I support your channel, but unfortunately won't get to talk because your boyfriend blocked. I guess, but I be active on your channel. I'm so sorry, Shaggy. I Yes, my fiance, he's really, he doesn't like guys messaging me. So sorry for that. All right, so let's see. Okay, so someone, so this is a hate comment. Someone said, laugh my ass off. My kid would be getting double abortions. F this shit. Okay, cool. Well, I'm sorry for whoever's your kid. Um, let's see. And then another one, this is hate comments. LMAO, little host kissing hoes. I guess you literally become a hoe for anything nowadays. Literally, someone can do something. Oh, you're a hoe. Like, you can be like the innocent person, like literally the most innocent person, and people are still gonna call you hoes. Like literally, the, us girls, we just get that title. Okay, um, let's go to the next one. Are you from St. George? I am from St. George. Someone asked that, that was an asked question. Okay, so who is the baby daddy? A lot of you guys asked that. Um, so I did, um, so what happened is within that year that I got I separated my ex-boyfriend the one that I was with for two years I My mom my adopted mom told me you need to get some help you need to you need to put them on child support So I put all three of them because with child support you do have to get a paternity test and clarify who's the dad So we got the guy that lives here um, the one that I really wanted it to be the dad we got him to get um, to take a paternity test and ended up not being him and then we had the other guy take a paternity test and it ended up him being the one from Mexico so he is the father the reason he is not in my daughter's life is because he for some reason he told me when I was really struggling I told him I needed help I needed him to help me on giving me something for the baby because and this was after two years of me doing this all by myself, taking care of the baby all by myself. I asked him two years later and he said, this is what he responded. He said, I will help you. I will give you a house. I will give you a car. You will never have to work, but you have to marry me. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna marry you. Are you like, what? No, I, no, no, I'm, no, I'm not doing that. So I told him, no, it upset me that the only way that he would help me with his daughter, with his baby, is if I married him. I know for a lot of girls, they're like, oh my gosh, girl, why didn't you do that? You would stop struggling. You wouldn't, you know, this and that. But I, I'm not like that. I, I'm not, you know, if I, I did it two years by myself. If I can do it two years, I can do it for the rest of my life. I am good. I'm, I'm Gucci. So for everyone wondering, it was the second guy that I supposedly cheated on. So, no. So, <laughs> Let's see, how can we make this? So the first guy is the one that I was dating, and the one that I was dating, the one that I really, really liked. And the second one was the one that my friend wanted me to date, and I ended up having, um, you know, I chaga chaga with him. So it was the second, um, second, second person's daughter. So for all of you guys that are wondering, and if you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go watch my video. It's my very second video, and you will understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, next one. Um, 
Someone said, so your mom is a pedo. Um, I don't know. I mean, not really. I do understand when people say, oh yeah, you know, if they're 37 or, you know, when they, once they pass 30 and then you're trying to get with someone that's like 17, 18, 19, that they're considered pedophiles. But I technically don't believe that. I believe that a pedophile is someone that's attracted to someone looking like a child, like a child figure, uh, someone that has child-like appearance that my mom's boyfriend, my stepdad, he was uh, he was 17, yes, I understand, but he was mature and he was, I mean, he was mature enough to get with the lady with six kids. So I don't consider my mom a pedo, but you can, you can call her whatever you want. That's all on you. I know where my mom is. All right, so next one. Um, okay, so I did see someone, um, Natalie and Riley, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, she did mention, I got pregnant at 14, had my daughter at 15, it's a blessing. And a lot of people were commenting mean stuff. All I'm gonna say is, Nicole, there's gonna buy, there's gonna be a lot of haters. Trust me, a lot of haters. Don't let anyone get to you. Um, I saw people were commenting rude things. And I'm gonna tell you guys this now. It is not, it's a blessing to have a baby. Is it, is it hard to have a baby at a young age? Yes, it is hard. And do I say, oh, go have babies at a young age? No, please don't do that. Please think about, think about your future. You know, like I, I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to be a model. I wanted to go out there and do things and once I got pregnant, all of that changed. I had to mature up. I had to give my babies a better life. I had to do best for my babies. But at the same time, things happen. Um, but honestly, girls, protect yourselves. Um, pregnancy is a hard thing, you know. Uh, taking care of a baby is so hard. Trust me, girls. I've gone through crying in, you know, in, behind the doors so many times and i've said I, why why didn't i put them up for adoption why didn't i have an abortion all these things that a lot of people tell me but at the end of the day they are the most amazing things ever and i wouldn't trade it for anything literally i wouldn't trade it if someone told me i will give you an active career and everything if you went back you know and didn't have those babies but honestly i love them they're everything to me to have my ups and downs with them yeah i do but we all do but no one's ever ready you can be 30 with bitch and everything and you're not ready still you know like you're never ready for a baby because like you know there are a lot they're a handful so i do suggest for you young girls out there don't get pregnant <laughs> don't get pregnant early you know like you know it's a blessing but just think about your future think about what you could be doing instead of you know raising a baby and if you are raising a baby good for you honestly props for you for literally giving up everything and trying to give them the best for them because they matter they're the future and a lot of people hate on me because i'm young and i have two kids but i could care less i honestly i'm i'm doing this so far good and for all the haters i don't know what to tell you <laughs> keep hating i guess okay so the next one this was a hate comment vanessa said dang girl you a ho ho Girl, I think I said that like a lot of times on my video. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but thanks, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the next one. El nopal en la frente. So I don't know if this is a hate comment or not. Um, yes, I get that I don't speak Spanish perfect. Honestly, I came to the US when I was seven years old and my mom kind of just stopped talking to us in Spanish. It was pure English from then. So have I forgotten English, uh, Spanish? Nope, I can understand it pretty well. Do I know how to speak it? Mm, más o menos, puedo hablar. Puedo hablarte en conversaciones, te puedo decir lo que tú quieras, te puedo entender lo que tú quieras, puedo hablarlo, todo, todo. You know, si lo hablo un poquito raro y a veces mis palabras no salen bien, pero lo puedo hablar y te puedo entender. And yes, I am Mexican. So let's see. Someone said you're so pretty. Thank you, loves. Another hoe. And this is from Bitch. Um, 
I guess your name, your username goes with you. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. I said, I wanna see your babies. You should give us a life update on it. All right, let's go to the next one. Um, Those are just cute comments from all you lovely girls. Um, Someone, as a hate comment said, F that shit. I would get an abortion ASAP. Honestly, guys, you guys don't know how much I've heard that. I've heard that so many times. There was a time that someone said, your daughter is so ugly, you should have gotten an abortion. She looks like she has Down syndrome. At first, it bothered me, but then I was just like looking at my daughter, and I was like, I made the most beautiful girl ever. Literally, literally, it doesn't bother me that you say that. Because at the end of the day, she's still here. <laughs> All right. Next one says, do you still talk to your mom? Yes, I do talk to my my adopted mom. I don't talk to my real mom. My real mom went back to Mexico almost three years ago. It's a hard topic for me to talk about, and I'm not going to talk about it because um, I've gone, I've had to go through a lot with that on nights staying up and crying because she actually got lost in Mexico and we've been trying to do everything we can to find her but there hasn't been any signs so i'd rather not talk about that today girls today's a happy day so let's not go into that um okay so marissa sorry my i'm like i took pictures because my thing is not uploading my internet sucks so she says oh girl being 15 and pregnant is the hardest to deal with in every aspect can you do a question and answer later on? How old are you? I am 20 years old. I just turned 20 and January 25th. Um, and how have you grown over these years? Honestly, guys, I have grown a lot. Like from where I was like a year ago, two years ago to where I'm at now, I've, I've grown a lot. Literally, I, I, I'm, you know, a lot of people don't see it, but I, from where I am now, to where I was two years ago, I I can say that I've grown a lot. Um, I'm a single mommy of two amazing kids, a girl and a boy. I got pregnant at 15 and also at 17. My daughter is seven years old. My son is five. Keep it up. You're so beautiful. Blessings to you and your family. Oh, thank you so much, love. I honestly, it is hard being a single mommy, but. You know, your babies are seven years old and five, and so far you've done an amazing job, as I can see, they're still here. All right, uh, let's see. Someone said, it's not top. It's not, it's crop top, not top crop, babe. That's why it sounds weird. So yeah, I know that, it, <laughs> I know I said it completely wrong. I do say words super off sometimes that I don't even understand. Like, I'm just like, girl, why are you saying that? I don't know, it's it's probably my Spanglish that I say things so weird, you know, because in Spanish it's like the opposite, it just goes backwards, so I'm so sorry that I don't know how to talk. <laughs> Alright, this is a hate comment, this one's pretty long. <clears throat> Let me see, okay. What kind of <laughs> is that you were at 15 years old? I wasn't thinking about boys at 15. I was still trying to play football with the boys. That's the difference between Hispanics and white folks. That's why white people get married at an older age because they're not out here f***ing everybody, everything down. 17, I hope that state and supporting your kids because that means I'm paying for you to and I'm not doing that. And you look like your Mexican soul. I know Mexicans are super horny all the time. That's why, that's really up, girl. You just ruined your whole life. Kids are a burden and they're expensive. And especially when you're trying to get a career going on or even education. I got married at 18 and had my son at 19, but I was married. I'm nobody to sit here and judge, but your life up. Oh, but you your life up. Sorry, she put like little stars with that F words. Um, girl, I don't know what to tell you. I just hope you become a little nicer. 
because honestly you have a baby at 19 that's I that's super young I, and you're married good for you girl like thank goodness you found someone that could be there for you and thank goodness you had your baby with someone that you're married with and I literally and I mean this in a good way I hope it works out I don't hope I hope that you get you don't get in divorce like most people most young people do when they get married so fast and I hope your baby is the best thing for you and I hope that they don't end up getting pregnant young and I literally hope the best for you girl like honestly you talking all this stuff I hope the best for you because you never know your future how it could come up and yeah that's that's kind of all for me and you know that whole Hispanics are hornies and stuff like that trust me white people are horny too I think a lot of us regardless of our race are horny too girl so I I don't even know what the whole Hispanic and white folks I I guess <laughs> I don't know what to tell you but that was kind of most of the hate comments I know there was more but we're not gonna get to that we're just gonna finish the video so talking okay, about so my now. life okay so let's start two years ago when I left my baby daddy the father of my son um, because of a really domestic violent like very domestic violent that I would not be here right now if it wasn't for my adopted mom she bought him a plane ticket and he went back to Puerto Rico <sighs> so how can I start after me and him broke up he went back to Puerto Rico like I literally said and um, I stayed at our little small apartment that we had and I stayed you know working I actually like it was super hard it was hard trying to go take the babies to a babysitter and having to go to work and it, it was just super hard I stayed a whole year single I didn't want to be with anyone else anymore I didn't want to have another boyfriend I wasn't ready I guess I was still in love with my baby daddy um, but I just wasn't ready for another relationship. I was scared that the same thing would have happened again. So I ended up just staying by myself, you know, doing my own thing and taking care of my babies. I got into a horrible, horrible accident where I, it was the toughest year, literally. I, I don't know what I, else I can say. Well, after a year and a couple months, I did end up going to a party, a kickback. A house party with one of my friends it was just a small party um, and I wasn't drinking I, I mean I was smoking I'm not gonna lie I was smoking but I wasn't drinking so I was just hanging out with everyone you know once in a while us girls guys whatever we just want to get out of the house for a little bit and we were just hanging out and I saw I saw this guy but not intentionally to like be like oh my gosh she's cute I just saw him because everyone started leaving the party was like going down and he was taking everyone with him and I was just like, what the heck? So, you know, they left and I went back, I went to sleep and whatever. Um, uh, two weeks later, I go to another party I got invited to. I'm not a party girl, but when someone invites me to a party, cause I'm gonna be honest with you guys, a lot of people here don't like me, like a lot. And do you guys wanna know the reason why? Like literally you guys wanna know the reason why? I'm gonna tell you guys the reason why. I have no clue why literally I have no clue why they don't like me I just there's girls out there that don't like me that talk bad about me and I've never even met them did I go to school with them yes I went to school with them but have I even talked bad about them I have no reason to talk about any of these girls upset girls that I personally know you know we've had our beef and stuff like that but a lot of girls don't like me here so anyways I went to this kickback um, it's rare for me to get invited to kickbacks um, and I saw him again and I was like dude you took everyone like you know you took everyone the party died because of you and he's like what who are you and I was like it's me Sandra and he's like oh yeah blah 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 and well I know I'm still young but I started drinking and he took care of me the whole night like he was with me vomiting everywhere I vomited all over him he literally took care of me that whole night um it's funny because I told him I was 17 he's like wow you're 17 I, you know I try not to touch me in any 
sexual way because you know i'm 22 and i was just like mm, i won't whatever and so i literally knock out in the back of his seat and i wake up and he's like in the front of the seat knocked out too and he's like do you want me to take you home and i was just like yeah please so he takes me home and then from there we just kind of started talking and we had like nights we stayed up talking all night and yeah we kind of didn't we didn't make it official until a month later because i wasn't ready to date again i didn't know who this guy was i i didn't even like i was just scared i i, I wasn't ready for this so you know after a month we we were literally talking every single day from that month he would come over we did not have any we didn't have sex at this time i was i wasn't ready for that and then you know we talked a month and we made it official and i think two months later he moved in with me and we've been together now eight months and we're getting married <laughs> it's crazy guys but let me tell you i used to live in this neighborhood it was super ghetto it was super gross yeah the apartment was disgusting and small and it was disgusting and i was there and i hated it and once eddie came into my life he's like let's get a place together you know let's let's get a place together we found this beautiful townhome that i now live in it's a three bedroom 2.5 baths and it's huge and it's beautiful this is my bas master bedroom this is my bed he has changed my life in so many ways and as you guys know i am getting married soon and i can literally say i'm getting married to the guy of my dreams but <laughs> It. I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail with that, but you guys will meet him. I want to do videos with him. I'm just, I'm kind of scared with the hate comments because he hasn't, he, this isn't his life. Social media is not his life. And I, I've done social media so much that when hate comments come to me, I'm prepared for them. I, I could care less what you have to say about me. You're, you're not, you're not in my life. You know, you're not doing anything for me. Your hate comments are are pointless honestly but with him being someone new to youtube and stuff like that i get scared that he won't be able to handle that i know that he's a guy but guys girls babes guys have emotions too we, we all have emotions you know and one of our one of the biggest things in life and in a human being is that we want to be valued and, and it literally is everyone wants to be valued you know regardless of who you say you are you want to be valued and Honestly, I can say that that's me right now. I, I love my fiance. He's everything to me and I can't wait to marry him, which I will be posting a video. It is going to be a private wedding, but we will have a bigger wedding probably next year. But I will be recording it so you guys can be there with me. But all right, guys, I'm going to go because I don't want it to take too long. But make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys comment. Follow my social medias. I usually post there regular but follow me there i love you guys so much i'll see you guys later